What is up, you guys? My name is Taylor Simon Maxwell, and I'm the author of The Desire Tree, which is available now on Amazon. The novel summary, as well as the link to Amazon, is down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I post weekly videos about Christianity and sexuality. I had a whole other message planned for tonight. I was actually gonna read out of Ephesians 5, and like an hour ago, the Lord just was like, boom, I was cooking dinner. The Lord was like, nope, you're talking about something else. Identity, identity. This video is not gonna be long. It's gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. A homosexual identity makes no sense. Is it harsh to hear that? Yes, but here is the facts. Here is the truth. Hear me out. When you say I'm gay, you're literally saying that your identity, the core of who you are. This is huge because so many of us, we just take on so many things as our identity without really thinking about what it means. What it means when you say, I am a gay man, you are literally saying that you are gay because you've come to some sort of conclusion. Well, what has happened in your life that has caused you to come to the conclusion that you now want to say, I am gay? You're going to put this banner, this identity statement over yourself, and you're going to live this way. Well, what that means is that you've come to a place where you have said, I am sexually attracted to men or I'm lustful towards men, or I desire men. You have these desires to want to be intimate with somebody of your own gender. And so you have these desires, you have these attractions, and so you internalize it and you say, okay, therefore I'm gay. But this identity is not the identity that God intended for you. Your identity was meant to be on nothing else, was meant to be defined on nothing else except God and God alone. The only way for a gay identity to exist is that somebody else has to exist to affirm your identity. You cannot say you're gay or self-identify yourself as gay unless another man exists for you to be attracted to, unless another man exists for you to have lust for, unless another man exists for you to have sexual desires or romantic desires, etc. So literally, your identity as a gay man is dependent on the existence of another human being. But God says that your identity is in nothing else but Him. That's not a solid identity. Your identity is built upon the existence of another human being, like literally another human being has to exist in order for you to have that identity as a gay person because you can't find another man sexually attractive unless there's another man there to be attracted to. You can't lust after another man unless there's another man to be lustful towards or for. If you were the only human being on planet Earth and you had never seen another human being, how would you know you were gay? How could you self-identify as gay? There would be no other man for you. You wouldn't even know what another man looked like because you were the only one that had ever existed. And so there'd be no one to be attracted to. There would no one to be lustful for. There would, no one, there would be no one for you to yearn for romantically, sexually, whatever it may be. And so this identity is invalid and it doesn't make sense. God's, God, God wants us to put our identity in him. His identity is solid. It's a firm foundation. Who God says you are, it means something here on earth, but it also means something into eternity. My encouragement to you is to really challenge yourself because to, ta to challenge yourself with your identity and the way you self-identify. You know, we're living in a, in a world that says, you know, if you're gay, that's a good thing and that you should embrace that and you should say, that's who I am. But when you say I'm gay, you're literally saying, I am, the core of who I am is built upon what gives me an erection. The core of who I am is built upon what gives me lustful feelings. The core of who I am is my desires, my sexual desires, and that's who I am but that's not who you are. That is a shallow identity. And God designed you to put your identity in Him. Only when you put your identity in Him do you walk in a valid, 
God-given, holy identity. And so my encouragement to you is this, that if you identify as gay, there is hope. There is healing at the cross of Jesus Christ. He just wants your heart. That's all God wants. He loves you. He died on the cross for you. He wants to set you free from these ideologies of culture. And he wants to begin to peel back the lies. And he wants to set you free. He wants to see you walk in a God-given identity. So many people, they don't know who they are. But let me tell you this. When you begin to follow God, when you surrender your life to Christ, he will begin to tell you who you are. You will be his daughter. You will be his son. And he will begin to heal you. And he will begin to tell you your worth. That is where true identity is found. Your identity is not found on Pornhub. Your identity is not found in that person that you sleep with when you go to bed at night. Your identity is not in what you think about when you're masturbating or having fantasies, lustful thoughts, whatever it may be. I'm getting real and raw. Your identity was meant to be in Christ Jesus. Praise be to God for that. Again, I hope that was encouraging for you guys. I just want to say I love you and I'll see you next time.